Hello, and welcome to the 16th episode of LGBTQIA+, Heroes, Icons, Legends, and Events. This series of programs covers a wide variety of topics, such as astronaut Sally Ride, activist Bayard Rustin, and entertainer Freddie Mercury. In a previous episode, we learned about the history of Pride and Pride Month. Today, we'll meet the artist and activist who created the international symbol of LGBTQ pride and who worked as a vexillographer or flag maker for nearly 40 years. Today, we'll talk about Gilbert Baker. Gilbert Baker was born on June 2, 1951 in Chanute, Kansas. He grew up in nearby Parsons, Kansas. Gilbert's father was a judge and former Army drill sergeant, and his mother was a school teacher. Gilbert was drawn to music, art, and fashion design as a child. He loved watching the Miss America pageant and spent hours sketching elaborate gowns and hairstyles. When he was drafted into the U.S. Army, his parents were delighted. They hoped that his military experience would make him more masculine, and they dreamed that he would become a cadet at West Point. However, Gilbert experienced extreme homophobia and mistreatment during his time in basic training. He did not plan to pursue a career in the military. Gilbert trained to be a medic to avoid handling weapons. Gilbert served as a medic in the U.S. Army from 1970 until 1972, and he was stationed in San Francisco, California. It was the beginning of the gay rights movement, and Gilbert enjoyed living as an openly gay man. After his honorable discharge from the Army, he worked as an activist. He championed California Proposition 9, which was the first initiative to legalize marijuana. His fellow activist, Mary Dunn, taught him how to sew. He used this skill to create banners for gay rights and anti-war protest marches. He joined the gay drag activist group, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, but he quit when images of the group were used in right-wing propaganda. During this time, Gilbert met and befriended openly gay activist and politician Harvey Milk. Harvey had been elected to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors and was active in the gay rights movement. He asked Gilbert to design a new symbol for the gay and lesbian political movement. The gay community had used the pink triangle as a symbol, but since it had been used as an emblem of oppression in the past, specifically in Nazi Germany, they sought something new. Gilbert first created the rainbow flag in 1978 as part of a collective group of designers. He was possibly influenced by the world peace and hippie movement flags of the 1960s. It's also possible that he was inspired by the famous song, Over the Rainbow, from the film The Wizard of Oz. In the film, the song was performed by Judy Garland, one of the first gay icons. Gilbert's first rainbow flag had eight colors. Hot pink for sex, red for life, orange for healing, yellow for sunlight, green for nature, turquoise for magic and art, indigo for serenity, and violet for spirit. Gilbert said of the flag, quote, In 1978, when I thought of creating a flag for the gay movement, there was no other international symbol for us than the pink triangle, which the Nazis used to identify homosexuals in concentration camps. Even though the pink triangle was and still is a powerful symbol, it was very much forced upon us. I almost instantly thought of using the rainbow. To me, it was the only thing that could really express our diversity, beauty, and our joy. I was astounded nobody had thought of making a rainbow flag before because it seemed like such an obvious symbol for us. The original rainbow flags flew in United Nations Plaza at the San Francisco Gay Freedom Day Parade on June 25, 1978. Over time, the rainbow flag changed. Gilbert had trouble finding flag material in hot pink because it was so expensive, so he changed the flag to seven colors. The turquoise stripe was taken out before the 1979 Gay Freedom Day Parade in San Francisco because the organizing committee wanted to fly the flags in two halves along both sides of the streets. The rainbow flag as we know it today has six stripes. Red, orange, yellow, green, deep blue, and violet. After Harvey Milk was assassinated on November 27, 1978, rainbow flags were in great demand. Gilbert refused to trademark the flag since he saw it as a symbol for the LGBT community. 
Gilbert became a full-time vexillographer when he took a job at Paramount Flag Company in San Francisco in 1979. He designed flamboyant window displays for the business, and he caught the attention of Mayor Diane Feinstein, who put him in charge of creating flags and banners for her first inaugural ceremony. Soon, Gilbert was busy with several high-profile commissions from the city of San Francisco. He designed flags for visits from foreign heads of state and other important city events. His most famous project was the creation of banners, bunting, and flags for the 1984 Democratic National Convention at Moscow Center. When Paramount Flag Company went out of business in 1987, Gilbert designed flags for the San Francisco Symphony, concerts in Golden Gate Park, and displays for San Francisco's Pride events. Gilbert also created fine art that celebrated the gay community. Beginning in 1978, he created a series of signed limited edition silkscreen posters. Every year, he created new rainbow flag posters and paintings. He moved to New York City in 1994 and lived there for the rest of his life. He performed in drag under the name Busty Ross in honor of Betsy Ross, the creator of the United States flag. In June 1994, Gilbert set a world record for the largest flag when he created a one mile long rainbow flag to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the 1969 Stonewall Riots in New York City. It measured 30 feet by 5,280 feet and required 5,000 people to carry it. In 2000, Gilbert held his first exhibition of photographs and art in Rome for the very first World Pride event. The exhibition was shut down after protests from the Vatican. The New York Gay LGBT Community Center staged an exhibition of 180 pieces of Gilbert's art and photographs. A larger version was staged in San Francisco in two simultaneous shows at the San Francisco Community Center and the San Francisco Public Library. Gilbert outdid himself in 2003 when he broke his own world record by designing a one and a quarter mile long rainbow flag for Key West Pride. It stretched from the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Later, the flag was cut into pieces that were sent to more than 100 cities around the world. Gilbert served as Grand Marshal for Pride events in San Francisco, New York City, Philadelphia, Toronto, London, Vancouver, and Stockholm throughout the 2000s. In 2008, Gilbert worked on the award-winning film Milk, starring Sean Penn as Harvey Milk. He recreated period flags and banners for the movie and had a minor role. That same year, he began a new series of artwork featuring matte paintings in gold bas relief. In 2012, Gilbert suffered a massive stroke. His doctors were pessimistic about his recovery, but he had other ideas. He regained his ability to sew and also found a new rehabilitation therapy applying sequins and beads to clothing. During this time, he lived on Fire Island in New York and he was named Best Dressed at the annual Drag Invasion of the Pines on July 4, 2012. In 2013, the city of Philadelphia honored Gilbert by naming their annual Out Proud Award after him. San Francisco Pride created the Gilbert Baker Award in 2015, and it's now presented every year in June during Pride festivals. Also in 2015, the Museum of Modern Art in New York City asked Gilbert to donate a rainbow flag to its permanent collection. The unveiling took place on June 26, 2015, the same day that the Supreme Court of the United States legalized gay marriage. After the ceremony, the rainbow colors lit up iconic buildings and structures worldwide, including the Eiffel Tower, the White House, the World Trade Center, the Empire State Building, and Niagara Falls. On June 9, 2016, Gilbert was invited to the White House for an LGBT Pride Month reception. He met with President Barack Obama and presented him with a hand-dyed rainbow flag. Gilbert Baker died in his sleep at his home in New York City on March 31, 2017. Memorial services were held in New York City and San Francisco in June 2017. In 2018, the Gilbert Baker estate, run by his sister Ardana Baker Cook, assembled an advisory committee to identify events, programs, and endorsements to properly honor his legacy of pride and activism. 
In June 2019, Gilbert was one of the 50 LGBTQ Americans inducted into the National LGBTQ Wall of Honor in the Stonewall National Monument in New York City's Stonewall Inn. The Stonewall National Monument is the first U.S. monument dedicated to LGBTQ rights and history. The unveiling of the Wall of Honor took place during the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Riots. The GLBT Historical Society Museum in San Francisco's Castro neighborhood houses an exhibit of Gilbert's art called Performance, Protest, and Politics, The Art of Gilbert Baker. The exhibit includes samples of his art, fashion, and photography. The exhibit also includes a piece of one of the two original rainbow flags raised on June 25, 1978 in San Francisco's United Nations Plaza at the San Francisco Gay Freedom Day Parade. Gilbert's rainbow flag remains in the public domain. To know more about Gilbert Baker, visit gilbertbaker.com. To know more about Pride and other LGBTQIA topics, go to our website, gwinnettpl.org, to check out the following suggested items. A Queer History of the United States for Young People by Michael Bronski. The Book of Pride. LGBTQ Heroes Who Changed the World by Mason Funk. People of Pride, 25 Great LGBTQ Americans by Chase Klemesha. Pride, the story of Harvey Milk and the Rainbow Flag by Rob Sanders. Pride, the LGBTQ plus rights movement, a photographic journey by Christopher Meesom. Pride, the celebration and the struggle by Robin Stevenson. Queer There and Everywhere, 23 People Who Changed the World, and Rainbow Revolutionaries, 50 LGBTQ Plus People Who Made History, both by Sarah Prager. We're Everywhere, Protest, Power, and Pride in the History of Queer Liberation, by Matthew Reimer and Leighton Brown. Also, visit our website's digital resources to discover Canopy, our streaming service. Canopy has a wide selection of films and documentaries about LGBTQIA topics. Thank you for watching.